Prince William is likely to reject Prince Charles' monarchy style for the image of the Queen's reign, Neil Wilkie, a relationship expert, claimed in an interview with Express.co.uk. William, 39, and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, 40, conducted their second joint engagement of the year yesterday. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge visited Burnley, where they dropped in on a hub for vulnerable and homeless people. The royals met with Pastor Mick Fleming who runs the hub, which is named Church on the Street. William also shared a touching moment with 11-year Deacon Glover, whose mother, Grace Taylor, 28, died last year. The Duke's own mother, Princess Diana, died in a car crash in Paris in 1997 when he was 15 years old. The future king put a hand on the grieving youngster's shoulder and told him, it gets easier. William and Kate's conduct on their public engagements have often been praised by commentators. The Duke, who is second in line to the British throne after Prince Charles, is also said to favor a different kind of monarchy to his father. Neil Wilkie, a relationship expert, who has analyzed William's speech and behavior, claimed William would likely govern in the image of his grandmother, the Queen. He told Express.co.uk, I think William will be king much more in the image of his grandmother than in his father's. Because I don't think William has said anything which is outside what's normally considered royal protocol. He seems very much one who toes the line rather than pushing the boundaries. While praising William's solid reputation, Mr. Wilkie highlighted some of Charles' more controversial moments down the years. The Prince of Wales' tumultuous relationship with Diana, leading up to their divorce in 1996, heaped negative attention on the royal family for years. In recent years Charles has raised among traditionalists for things as diverse as reportedly backing a so-called slimmed-down monarchy to his vocal support of homeopathy. There have also been more serious claims that Charles has tried to get involved in politics, a strict no-no for royals. The Prince of Wales was revealed to have lobbied key members of Tony Blair's Labour government between 2004 and 2005 in private correspondence. The cache of the future king's secret letters, dubbed the Black Spider Memos because of his handwriting, cover topics from the Iraq war to climate change, which is one of Charles' principal concerns. Charles previously denied that he would be a meddling monarch during the 2017 BBC documentary Prince, Sun Air, Charles at 70, released for his 70th birthday. He was asked by the interviewer about concerns that once he becomes king, his involvement in matters beyond the royal realm will remain unchanged. In response, Charles said, no, it won't. I'm not that stupid, I do realize that it is a separate exercise being sovereign. Mr. Wilkie claimed Charles has different ideas to the Queen. He said, it will be interesting to see whether King Charles just holds the fort for William or whether he tries to be the king that he's always wanted to be and maybe creates a more difficult handover for William. He's obviously very strongly environmentally focused. He clearly has been in touch with ministers wanting to know what's happening. Neil Wilkie is the author of the Relationship Paradigm series of books and creator of the online couples therapy platform, The Relationship Paradigm.